Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to The Blitz, your weekly high school football show covering all things high school football in Lorain County, brought to you by First Federal Savings of Lorain. I'm Marissa McNeese of the Chronicle Telegram, again, back as always with my partner behind the camera, Kristen Bauer. And this week, you know, we're keeping the show on the road. We are at Midview High School, where we have a lot to talk about with the middies. But first, it worked so well for me last week. I have to start this week off with a shout out. And again, this week's shout out goes to me. Again, another 12 and 0 week for Marissa on the Chronicle Telegram picket line. And it seems like I'm starting to get a hang of these whole football picks. Of course, as we approach the last game of the regular season, but that's not important. 12 and 0, back to back undefeated weeks for me. So I have to start off the show with another shout out and let's keep that same energy going into week six. All right, enough of that. Had to get that out of the way. Let's talk some football and let's start it off with the middies. We had a really exciting week of football this past week. Like I said, week five, we are heading into week six, the final week of the regular season. Of course, that shortened regular season due to the pandemic. Playoffs will start October 9th. But again, the middies picking up their first win of the season, 31-10 over North Ridgeville after an 0-4 start. Things are finally starting to click at Midview. They score 17 points in less than two minutes in the third quarter for a comeback win after trailing at halftime. Coach Luke Beal said it was a bit of a sluggish start. He said he saw, you know, the offense hadn't played much worse than what they played in that first half. But a positive direction, a big, huge win, what they needed as the end of the regular season approaches and we get into that postseason, a lot of positive momentum. And it seems like the middies are trending in the right direction. So again, the first win there now, one in four with a 31-10 win over North Ridgeville. Moving over to the Lorraine County League, there were several big games in the Lorraine County League this past week. But first we have to talk about Columbia with a 22 Zero win over Clearview. A big win for the Raiders over Clearview. It snaps a three-game losing streak for Columbia against Clearview. They are now 3-2 and two after a little bit of a shaky start. Sort of the same thing we saw last season with Columbia. A rough start only to finish really strong at the end of the regular season, which is going to be key this year as everybody makes the playoffs if they want to. So having that positive momentum, if you decide to opt into the postseason, will be key. I know Coach Jason Ward said after the game, the defense coming up big with some huge stops in the red zone was the turning point for his team. But we have to talk about Owen Mengi, a huge, huge game, 93 yards on six carries, three catches for 43 yards and a couple touchdowns. He's been unstoppable all season. Doesn't show a sign of slowing down yet. So again, a three game losing streak snapped for Columbia over Clearview and the Raiders are now three and two. All right, this next one, a bit of a lopsided win, but we have to talk about the Illyria Catholic Panthers who won 39-7 over Lakewood, and defense was the name of the game in that one. Forced three turnovers, kept Lakewood to six first downs, now on a three-game winning streak after that. Again, that week one loss to Illyria. The Panthers have really hit their stride, really playing some good football, and a career night for wide receiver Jarrett France, a Ball State commit, who had eight catches, 140 yards, two touchdowns, really playing well this season. But again, it was defense. According to Todd Shapiro, who was on the field at the game last week, the Panthers' defense has held opponents to an average of seven points in th these three games in September, and two of those have had eight or fewer first downs. So it's been a really strong defensive performance week in and week out for Elyria Catholic as we head in to week six. Again, the Panthers on a three-game winning streak heading into the final week of the regular season. Now, before we take you back over to the Lorraine County League for some highlights, we got a couple more scores to go over. We have Avon, a big winner, 63-12 over Berea Mid Park. And that win, not inconsequential because it clinches a share of the Southwestern Conference for Avon for the fifth straight year. Again, 63-12 over Berea and Mid Park. The Eagles five straight winners of at least a share of the Southwestern Conference. Wellington, 53-26 over Oberlin this week. We have Elyria, again, falling to Menor, 45-21. And Olmsted Falls, 56-35 over Amherst. 
Let's go back over to the Lorain County League. We had a huge week five matchup. Everyone had this one circled, I think, on their schedules this season. A shame that because of the pandemic, kept a lot of the fans from going to this one, but we had Keystone hosting Firelands in a battle for the two first place teams in the conference, both 4-0 and heading into week five, but it was Keystone who picks up a 40-14 win over Firelands, a game the Wildcats played incredibly well, well-rounded, little defense, little offense, special teams. They had it all. Myself, my colleague Sean Bennett from the Chronicle Telegram, we're on the sidelines bringing you all the action from the game. So instead of listening to me ramble about it, let's take you back to all the action. Um, we hit, we can, they, they took some things away. It opened up other things. Um, we make teams defend sideline to sideline. And um, that's the same offense that put up 28 last year. I think we're better on offense. And they're, they, they're better on defense, too. But, you know, it's just like that. Connor Roddick, sophomore, played out of his mind. That was, that, was the big, that was the big question mark before the season. He played like a senior. I mean, it's just that that's he just turned 16. He just drove himself to practice for the first time ever Monday. So let's put it in perspective. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you know, we've got athletic kids. I've said all year we are blessed with a plethora of, of speed and size and talent. Gideon, 35 carries, probably a boatload of yards, right? Kind of erotic, super efficient, four touchdowns, you know, or something like that. So, yes, thank you. It was uh, our kids stepped up when they had to. This was the playoff. This is our first playoff game. Again, a really solid win for Keystone. That is a team that seems like could make a lot of noise as we head into the postseason. I know Firelands, not the performance they were hoping for. A few things to figure out before the playoffs start October 9th, but Keystone seems to be the team to beat. And like we said, for all intents and purposes, that game was for the conference championship. Keystone, if they win this week, they will have clinched their second straight Lorain County League Championship. Winners last year of the inaugural uh, conference title. And again, at least a share of this season's. All right, let's pick our first federal savings of Lorraine, team of the week. I think based on where we are, you could probably figure it out, but we had to go with the Midview Middies this week, picking up their first win of the season over North Ridgeville. A big win, not just based on the score, but because the team started off slow, but they picked it up in the second half showed what they can do on offense, had some defensive stops, and it's a big momentum builder for this program, not just for this season as we head into the final week of the regular season as the playoffs start, but for the program as Coach Luke Beal continues to build and sees what this team can do. And that's why we picked Midview for our first federal savings of Lorraine, Team of the Week. All right, if you can believe it, we have made it to the final week of the regular season in high school football in Ohio. Week six will do it in this weird pandemic year in this shortened season. Six regular season games and then playoffs October 9th. But before we look ahead to the postseason, we have a slate of really good games still on the schedule for week six. And you can tune in on WEOL. First on the radio on stream one is Olmstead Falls at Avon Lake. You can hear that on WEOL. On stream two, WEOL.com, we have Keystone at Wellington. And for our Medina County matchup on stream three, we have Clearview at Black River, and you can find all of that on WEOL.com. That's going to do it for our Week 5 recap here on The Blitz. For all of us at WEOL, The Chronicle Telegram, I'm Marissa McNeese, and we will see you next week as we recap the final week of the regular season.